Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Maria Klyovkov and I'm the president of Waterton Glacier International Peace Park Association. I do these uh, videos monthly and it's because each month I want to talk about a different element of either the association or the parks and what's going on in the parks. But in January, that's a special time because that's a time of new beginnings. And I wanted to speak about new beginnings from the vantage point of the work that I do outside of the association, because I'm also a grief coach. And part of what I talk about at the beginning of every year is where do we find our strength? 2023 was challenging for most and 2024, you know, there, there are challenges around the world that press on each and every one of us because we're all connected. And so where do we find our strength? That's an important conversation. It connects to the parks because of wisdom that I learned when I was in Calgary. I was teaching a bunch of students and we were traveling to the Glenbow Museum. And there we met an elder from Sixaga. And the elder shared with the students and with myself um, a precious story of what is the most powerful of all animals and where the Sixaga get their strength. And the animal was the bison. Bison have just been reintroduced into our parks and um, they are doing very well from everything that I hear. But I thought the wisdom of the elders around the bison and why the bison is truly the smartest and the strongest of all animals, it's wisdom that we can carry forward into our everyday lives. I have pictures of bison all around me for just this reason, because the bison, which is the descendant of the buffalo, is, um, is an animal that, as the elder explained, was gifted by the creator, a powerful tool. You see, the bison or the buffalo are the only ones in the prairie that will actually turn towards a storm and start moving towards it. So if you think about the prairies and you think about how far out you can see a storm coming at you, the bison is the only animal that will not run from the storm. Most animals, humans included, we see something on the horizon and we turn and we run in order to get away from it. But what the bison understands is that when you turn and you face a storm, you actually spend the least amount of time in the storm because the storm clouds are moving. And if you turn and you face it and you walk towards it, you spend the least amount of time in the storm versus if you turn to run from it and then you're traveling with the clouds. And so you spend the most time in the storm. So creator rewarded the wisdom of the buffalo and the bison with um, with the strong tuft of hair, so that no matter what the weather the storm was bringing, that tuft of hair could help keep them warm and could support them so that they could see through and continue on their journey through the storm. That's something that I'd like to offer all of us for this coming year. It's not reasonable to think that we're going to go through a year without any storms. It's just not part of the human condition. But if we could have the wisdom of the buffalo and the bison to know that we can turn towards the storm, that we have what it takes to walk through the storm, and that creator, spirit, God, whatever you refer to as that thing that is larger than yourself, that we actually can lean in and on that to trust the process as we go through the storm, that's a really powerful lesson. And for me, that is a lesson of the parks, because as I said, the bison have been reintroduced and they are thriving. And as we look at these mighty animals and we understand their wisdom and that they have wisdom that other animals just don't, we can lean on their strength and courage and allow that to inform our own strength and courage. I wish you and your family a very blessed 2024. May your storms be few and whatever storms you do have to walk through in the coming year. May we all do these storms with ease and grace and trust in the process. Until next time. Namaste.